Okay. Sorry about that. Do you remember last year when I was showing my pre band magazine? Okay. I made a video. Fucking truck. I made a video showing my pre band magazine. I was sitting in my chair in my bedroom. The next night, I came behind, I put the camera up on top of my bureau where my TV is. And I was up, the bureau is five feet off the ground. And I was showing you my pre band that it's not a drop free and shit like that. That unit is five feet high. Last December, I had a cousin of mine, he's my first cousin. We only saw each other three times in my whole life. He was an Army National Guard officer full time for like eight years. He changed his guard duty to part-time so he could join the New York State Police. His wife is also a guard officer, they ex experience with guns. They came up with their baby who was a year and a half old. I did not have the 1911, I only had the Glock. What should I do? Simple. I took the Glock out of the case, that beer in front of my bedroom is five feet off the ground five feet up I took the Glock with the magazines next to it and I put it back four back to the end so it's up five feet back two and a half feet up and back the kid is this big standing up I grew a little bit but he's about this big standing up he would have had to go into my bedroom with five adults watching him he would have had to open my bedroom door, crawl to the front of my bedroom, reach up five feet, reach back two and a half feet, pick up the gun, pick up the gun, hold it. My hands are sweaty, sorry about that. Rack the slide and pull the trigger. He would have had to do all that with five adults watching him. Okay? He was not going to do that. Now, if we had eight year old kids, then it would have been a different story. If they were spending the night, it would have been a different story. Here's another method that you can use to safety check a gun. Okay? Take the trigger lock and feed it in here, which will disable it and put the key in your pocket. We're gonna get to the hazardous situation in a minute. Okay? And keep the key in your pocket, don't leave it laying around. Another thing you can do with this gun. Turn the fuck on you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> Tell your kids not to cut my language. Recoil spin guide rod. I can take the gun and leave it like that. Take the recoil spring guide rod, put it in a plastic ziplock bag, put it in my pocket. I don't want the grease in my pocket. If the kid finds this gun, unless he has another recoil spring guide rod in his pocket that fits, the gun is immobile. It does not matter if he has the ammunition. Revolvers, as long as you can put the cylinder back in, take the cylinder out. If you're really, really good at things, if you're a real gunsmith or something like that, take the trigger out. Take one major component from the gun, remove it, put it in your pocket so that only you have it, and leave it around. Put it on top of the shelf or some shit, or put it in a cabinet. Even if he finds it, he won't have the major piece. That works with one gun, not 500 guns. So guys like Hickok 45, I love Hickok 45. That have 10,000 guns, this is not for you. Another method that I was thinking about. This method will only work when you're in the room. It will only work when you were in the room physically. I am fucked up today. It will only work when you are physically in the room. Okay. I'm embarrassing myself here. 
Take when I'm when I, we have company over the house. We're in this room. We will be in this room here. We all sit down and have cake and coffee and whatever the fuck we do. One of us might get up to go to the bathroom. I might go and might be in my room. One of us might go in my mother's bedroom. One of us might be in the kitchen cooking. One of us might be getting the mail, throwing out the garbage. But there is always someone in this room. Always someone in this room. I cannot stress that enough. If there is someone in this room, an adult, and there's a child in the room, here's what you can do. Safety reasons. I don't want to show the whole room. Okay. 18 years old, my graduate. 17, my graduation. Up, 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 up. What is that? What is that? You know what that is. That's a 1911. Covering for safety. I don't want you to see the front of the room. Sorry about the dizziness. That was a 1911. As long as an adult is physically in this room, you can have a fully loaded gun up six feet high. That's a six foot tall thing. Okay, now, no fucking room here, I can do that. That works if there are adults in the room. If we all get up and walk out of the room and there's a kid in here alone, he can get up and reach it. And, it, and God forbid a guy breaks into the house or breaks into the window, I can jump up and grab it. But, if I go to sleep, no more safety. If I leave the apartment and leave three kids here by themselves, no more safety. It is only for you being in the room physically. Another thing I can do. You should have a trigger lock. I hate to like a fucking Brady campaign member. You should have a trigger lock for every single gun you have. Not way on them seven minutes. I have trigger locks for all my guns. I got a whole fucking case to the police department was giving away free gun locks to anybody that asked. I hope I got fucking cased them. This is what you can do. Okay? Take every single gun except one. Put the trigger lock in it. Put some kind of trigger lock on it to disable the trigger. Okay? Sorry about that. Disable the trigger. Feed the thing in here. Put the trigger lock in here. Disable the trigger on this gun. Just able to trigger on every single gun you have except one and one only. Fucking plane now, what the fuck? Take one gun, DeSantis in the waistband holster. Still empty here. Take one gun, put it in an in the waistband holster, and put it on your body. That way, all of the guns are locked up, they're in a safe, or they're with a trigger lock, or they have a major component like a recoil spring taken out, they're disabled. You have one gun in your pants. <laughs> God forbid the bad guy comes in, you still have a gun with ammunition. And you can put the magazines in your pockets, whatever. Even if you have to clip the, the, the um, attack the holster on the outside of your pants and put on a sweater, that's fine. As long, because if the gun is physically attached to you, it's safe. The kid can only grab it in front of you. You can go to the bathroom, you can go to your bedroom, you can go outside. The gun is with you. All the guns are disabled except one that is with you. And you can use a combination of these things. You can have one gun on your body, one gun up six feet tall with an adult in the room. These are just things you can do. These are just ideas. But try to make sure that a, 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 a kid and a loaded gun never come together. Unless you are standing right next to them. And that's that. Okay? Now, I forgot to go over before, when do you teach the kid how to use the gun? When do you teach the kid how to actually shoot? Well, like I said, use toy guns, go on YouTube. Once you've used toy guns, once you've gone on YouTube, once you've established that, then you move on to the real gun.
Okay? I move on to the real gun. Here's the real gun. Loading. Loaded. Trigger, finger off the trigger. There's no one else in the room. I'm safe. In front of the kid, bring out the gun. In front of the kid, keep your finger off the trigger. Can you see that? In front of the kid, release the magazine. In front of the kid, release the extra bullet. Oh, no. Okay. Show the kid. Count. This is a 10 round magazine. There has to be 10 rounds. Unless you got one in the chamber, then it's 11. Other 10 rounds, 11 rounds, two 7 rounders. You teach the kid to count the ammo. You teach the kid to never go anywhere or do anything with a gun unless he knows if it's empty. If he's carrying it for protection, he has to know that it's loaded and know to be careful with it. And you show this in front of him. Do it if don't make it a fucking mystery. Do it in front of him. Show him how it's done. Then once he's graduated, once you're comfortable with him, let him do it with an unloaded gun. Just the function. Unloaded gun. Unloaded gun. Function. Safety on, safety off. Okay. Hammer back, hammer forward. Just unloaded gun. And then when you are really ready, then you load it and you let them do it loaded. But that's the final test. Okay, we're going on 12 minutes and we can finish up. That's the final test is when it's really loaded. As far as shooting it, some states require you to have an actual firearms instructor on hand when you show a minor how to use a gun. Other states, just say let an adult watch him. Your grandmother with a freaking glass in a newspaper, the kid shooting the gun in the backyard, I don't know. But check your local laws and see how you legally get the kid to shoot. And you let the kid shoot, and you tell him the rules of the range. You tell him the rules of, you know, safety. You tell him the law. You tell him to obey you. You tell him to obey the instructor. You tell him to obey the range officer. You tell him to obey the cop. You tell them that you show ID when you go to the range. You show ID when the cop wants to see where your gun is. You show him how we do things in our world. Integrate him into our world. I'm going to have to pause the part three because this is going to go too long. 13 minutes.